Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, I'm gonna try to give you an overall view of how to use Print and Cut. Um, I didn't use it for a very long time because I just didn't understand wh why you would use it. Um, but now that I know all the different benefits, I definitely use it quite a bit. So first off is you can use Print and Cut for T-shirts. Um, so you would print onto a printable HTV. So then you can take that, um, you can use the heat transfer vinyl and put it down on your shirt so it would stay just like any other type of vinyl. Um, you can also do print and cut for like cake toppers. So for instance, like this, this would be too much detail for me um, on a small scale like this to do for a cake topper. So you can just print out the whole thing and just cut the general shape of it, which your Cricut would do for you. Um, I'm sure there's many other ways you can use it, but those are the, I mean, just knowing that you can do it for both um, iron-on and for paper products, I think that will get us started. So I had a request to do a space theme. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you know we've been doing a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm gonna show you where I got these images and how to change your files to make it the way you want. So first let's go to Creative Fabrica. And the reason why we're going there is because, um, oops, okay, here we go. Um, the birthday girl liked this graphic but she did not like the happy faces. So whenever you see this, I mean, one, I like Creative Fabrica because of this right here, commercial usage allowed. So I don't have to worry about my images or my fonts. Um, that's just me. <laughs> but um, if you see your files, you wanna make sure, so this comes in a couple different, different um, formats. PNG and SVG, that's what I'm looking for. If I wanna do print and cut, I like PNG or JPEG, right? But in this case, because she wanted me to edit the files first, like to get rid of the faces, I'm gonna bring in the SVG files. So you're gonna download here. Let me show you something else that we're gonna be doing. I sort of wanted this galaxy background, so let me go to my favorites and I'll show you what else I downloaded. Um, I downloaded this galaxy background, okay? So let's go to that just so that you can see. So I really like this background because it's got that space theme, right? And I was gonna put it on a t-shirt. I wanted to cut out a um, an eight, right? The number eight, because she's turning eight. And I wanted that eight to be filled with this background, all right? So download both items. Let's go into design space. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start out new. This is what these are the planets that I use. I made them into individual cake topper pieces because she sort of wanted to stack them. So it was kind of cool because then you're not tied to one look. You can make one planet a lot higher and further back and just depending on the cake. So that's why it's individual like this. But let's go and do a new one, new project, and let's go to upload. So if you were uploading the image, so go to browse, you've already downloaded the images, okay? So let me see where I downloaded this stuff too. So go to my downloads. Um, oh no, it was in my desktop, I'm sorry. So you wanna bring in each one of these individual files, right? And then for the image, here it is. So this one, you're gonna double click on it. I did complex and clicked continue. And so here's my image. I'm gonna click continue again. And I've already done this, but we want it as a print and cut. We know this is not gonna be a layered file. It's gonna be one image, okay? So click save. And like I said, you uploaded each one of the planets that you wanna use. And I'm gonna show you how to edit them and then change it into a print and cut file, okay? So this is just gonna take a split second because it's sort of a big file. All right, so I'm gonna insert this. I'm gonna insert a couple of these planets and you can see they kind of look funky, right? Every designer is different. You never know what you're gonna get when you're buying it, but I'm gonna upload just this many for you to see, okay? So we're gonna go to insert images. Um, now also from Creative Fabrica, I use the space font, which I love. Um, all right. So let's look at each one of these planets first. And I should have done them one at a time. I forgot how big it is. 
Okay, so let's zoom out for a second so that we can get each file separately, okay? So here's our background. I'm just going to move it over here. Okay, so if you remember, here's our planet, right? And the faces. So when you select this one, you can see this is, you, you know in your panel which one you're dealing with because it's highlighted, okay? So what I want to do is I know I don't want any of the, the face um, pieces, right? So it's this one I'm going to delete. So I just select it. You can select a bunch of them at once by hitting the shift key. So I'm going to hit the shift key and select the eye, the cheek, the other eye. And there wasn't any white in the image that I wanted. It was just blue. And let's delete that and see what we have. All right. And I don't think we need the black as well. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. So this is what we have. This looks like our planet, right? So now you're going to grab this whole thing and you're going to flatten. So, and you see how it changes too? This is what it looks like from on a print and cut. It's really pretty. The colors are nice, but you know, let me unflatten for a second. Let's say you liked everything about this, but you wanted it to be purple. You can select these individual pieces and change the color before you flatten it. So let's say I did that. So you can start to change things, right? So however you want to do it. So now you can grab the whole thing and you can flatten and it's going to print like this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So let's look at the next planet. I mean, when I first got this file, I was just thinking, you know what? You're going to have a happy face on here because I didn't know what I was dealing with here. But then I just realized, okay, let's just delete what we don't want. And then once I deleted that, everything else made sense. So again, this planet here, it's highlighted over here. So I know which, um, which pieces go with this planet. I'm just going to start deleting. So I'm deleting, select, delete, select, delete. I'm basically deleting everything but the orange the two shades of orange right i don't need any of the white and i'm not really sure why this this was done the, the the file was done this way but here's my planet it's looking good i'm going to grab everything and i'm going to flatten so what happens is when you go to print and cut it's going to print out this whole thing and then your cricut you when you send it to you so you're going to send it to the printer to print I see a lot of people get confused as to how their Cricut can print. Your Cricut cannot print. It can only cut and it could draw technically, right? I mean, I guess it could deboss and all those little things, but there's no printing function. You're going to send it to your printer to get printed. Then you're going to send it to the Cricut to cut. So after you print this out, the Cricut's going to cut perfectly around this planet. It's going to cut perfectly in between these rings as well. It's so awesome. All right. So we have that. Let's look at our next one. Here's our little rocket. And again, oh, this one was already a cut and print. Now, let's say you don't have the SVG file, but in this case, right, because it's already telling you it's a cut and print file, but the face is kind of just in the white. You can actually edit this like this. So I'm going to go into my shapes and I'm going to bring in a circle. And, you know, I'm going to zoom in just so that you can really see this and understand print and cut. All right, so here's our little guy, right? I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna unlock it so I can change the shape a little bit. And let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, there, I covered the whole face, right? I'm gonna change that to white because my rocket ship is white, okay? Now watch this. I'm gonna grab it all and I'm gonna flatten and there's my rocket ship without the face isn't that cool so basically we're just layering we could add if you wanted to we can add our name right here um let me show you how to do that <laughs> so i'm just gonna type in Anne, and um let's make it a different color just so that we can really see it i'm gonna do it in green okay i'm gonna move it over here So as long as it's the top layer, whatever layers, however you see it, is how it's going to be flattened. Okay, so now I'm going to grab everything and I'm going to flatten it. And now my name is part of the rocket ship. 
it's gonna print out like this, okay? So you can pretty much, I mean, the print cut feature is very, very cool. I just didn't know all the different ways it could work. Um, all right, so that's if you had a print and cut file already, you can still make edits to it, okay? So let's zoom out for a second. Um, okay, we only have one more planet and then we'll continue, okay? So here's the last planet. Over here, let's just delete everything that we don't need. I'm gonna hit the shift key and grab everything at this point. So I'm grabbing all these items and you can tell I'm grabbing them because now they're selected, right? They're a darker gray. And I'm gonna delete all that. And there's my perfect planet. I'm gonna grab, well, let's just say we wanna change the colors, okay? So let's change this one to maybe a more orange. And then this one, let's change this to a, just so that you can see it, okay? All right, so then I'm gonna grab all of it and flatten. All right, so there's our planet. Now, let's talk about this background, okay? So I like this, we know it's a cut and print, but let's go to text and it's my space font. So let me find my space font. There it is. And I want the number eight. So we'll type that in. Okay, so it's kind of small. Let's make it really big so we can see it. All right, so we're gonna put it over here. And you know, it depends on, there's a lot of color changes within here. So if you want the eight to only fit in the middle and get that bright color, then make sure your eight is that small and only fits there. If you want some of this or maybe a mix like this, put your eight there. All right, so now we're gonna grab the two items and slice. And I'll just take a second. We're gonna delete this because we don't need that anymore. We're gonna delete this big sheet, okay? We don't need that anymore. And what's left is our pretty eight in that galaxy background, right? How cool is that? So that's gonna cut and print, okay? Um, all right, so that is cut and print. Let's just say um, you wanna make it into a cake topper like the individual pieces I have here. So my printer is special. <laughs> It, it really doesn't print well on cardstock. So what I do is I print it out on copy paper. So it's flimsy, right? So what I wanna do though, is then I wanna make sure I'm going to duplicate this and you can unflatten it, okay? And then grab this whole thing and you're gonna weld it because you just want one big circle and you can change it to whatever color you want. So I'm gonna change it from print to no fill because I want it to cut. And then I usually do all my stuff either in a white background or a black background, but let's just do black in this case, okay? So that we can keep it separated. All right, so this little rocket ship, same thing with this one, right? We're gonna unflatten, then we're gonna grab it all and, uh, hmm, it didn't let me do that. Oh, because it was a cut and print. So sometimes, you know, I can't really tell when I can do that background and when I can't. But let's see if it lets me do this. Let's see if we can. No, we can't. Okay. Um, let's flatten this one for a second again. And then let's put this over and see if we can slice it. No, it doesn't let us slice either, interesting. So sometimes um, I've had that happen before where I need to play around with it to finally get a, a workaround to slice this out. But you saw how we did this planet. Let's do another planet just to see again. Um, so let's make a duplicate because we still want the planet to print, right? <laughs> and then let's unflatten. Let's grab this. Yeah, so this one I can weld. And I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna change it from print to no fill because I don't want it to print at all. And then now I'm just gonna change it to my black so that my planets match. So now I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this cardstock that's gonna cut that will make my planet sturdier, okay? So you kinda wanna do that for, if you're gonna print out on copy paper, that's what I do. Or if you really want stability and you wanna make it super, super sturdy, you can always add that extra layer. 
All right, so now that we've talked about that, let's talk about print and cut um, onto a t-shirt. One of the main things that I see in the Facebook groups is, well, I'm an adult, my shirt needs to be really big, but I'm limited by 6.75 by 9.25. That's the maximum print cut size that you can do, okay? So most shirts, let's say we wanna do a 10 by 10, right? So what I did for this shirt is, so this is her shirt in the middle. Let's, I'm gonna now zoom in to try to give you more accurate sizing, okay? So let me, oops, sorry. Let me go back, move everything over. Let's see, what else do I have? Let's move everything over to the corner, okay? Now we're moving on to how to do a print and cut for your shirt, okay? And kind of um, get around the, the sizing requirements. So the most that you can do, again, is 6.75 by 9.25. That's the max that it will print out for you and cut. But you can do multiple stages, right? So let's say this is the eight. Let's say I want this planet to be behind it, but smaller. I want it to touch a little bit, okay? And then this planet I want over here. I want at the bottom, okay? But I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because the planet right now is way big compared to my number, right? <laughs> okay. But, but I want the planet to be in front. So all you need to do is go to Arrange, send to the front and there it's it's in the front right um let's say this planet you kind of want over here you want it a little bit smaller but you don't want it touching the eight at all okay and then this rocket ship same thing you kind of want it in there but you don't want it touching anything it's just going to be flying towards the eight let's make it a little bit smaller okay so let's look at the size let's say you're happy with this but you're like oh my gosh it's 12 inches by 8 like I can't do this but this rocket ship is not touching the 8 you can print it separately this one same thing the only three that are touching are these three right so let's grab these three and it says it's still a little big, right? So it's 9.25 by 6.75. So let's make this planet a little bit smaller. And let's see what we have now. Almost 6.75. Let's move this one down a little bit. Okay, so this works. So what you can do is you can flatten this together so that it doesn't print on top of each other or anything like that. It's gonna print out three pieces exactly the way you see it. And then you add this planet over here separately. You add this over here separately. And then I did the name separately. So the name I did, oops, text. And I wanted to use my infusible ink on this one. So I did it separately. I cut it out separately. And look, I can make my name as big as I want, right? So look at this overall shirt. Technically, this overall shirt is 12 by 9.7. You're like, I can't do it. But you can because the only print, print and cut, this one item falls within the requirements. This one item does as well as this one. So when you go to make it, this is what it's going to look like. So see, this is your print and cut, that's fine. And this is your print and cut that are two separate pieces. So that's how you get around that, um, that sizing requirement is if things aren't touching, then don't make them touch, don't flatten it together. Cut it out separately so that each piece, technically this rocket ship, I could have made this, I'm gonna cancel out of this. This rocket ship could be 9.25 by 6.75 and still fit on the shirt. Do you see what I'm saying? So each, if they're not touching, each individual piece has the sizing requirement that can go all the way up to this time instead of thinking that it can only be, it can actually be up to 6.75 by 9.25. Um, 
So that's how you make that, okay? Just don't put it all together. Don't flatten this together. You're gonna have a problem. So let me show you what that would have, what that would look like. So if you flatten this, which I've seen a lot of people do, then you're going to get an error. You're gonna get a warning sign. So in a second, um, oh, it didn't do it. Hold on. Let's grab all of it again and flatten. And do you see the warning sign already came up? The warning sign, let's see what it says. It's too big. It has to be reduced to 6.75 by nine. So if you have it flattened together, now you can't make it unless you reduce the size. So you can go all the way up to 9.25. So I'm gonna change um, this to 9.25. So when you do that, your warning sign goes away, but you've just made this shirt so much smaller, okay? All right, so I hope that makes sense. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna have the individual screenshots of what it looks like and what my, um, what my t-shirt looks like and all the different cut sheets, okay? I hope that was helpful. I hope you make a lot of these because it's so fun and it's so vibrant. Let me show you what the shirt looks like. This is what the shirt ended up looking like. So it's big, this is way big, right? All right, if you have a special request, please let me know. You can either email me at ann at the uselesscrafter.com, that's Anne, A-N, and then you can just leave a comment here, YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, all right? Thanks guys, have a great day.